Planet Dolan. What body of water has its own underwater Stonehenge? How is the world's largest waterfall underwater? We'll answer those questions and a few more about the strangest things ever found under the sea. I'm Danger Dolan, and today I will be your narrator. Number 15. It isn't digital by any means, but by some measure, the first computer ever built is more than 2,000 years old. The Antikythera mechanism was Greek, and its job was basically to track the movement of the sun, stars, and planets using complex machinery. Skiers and internal mechanisms outpaced any other technology like it for at least a thousand years, but nobody knows why the ship that was carrying it sunk, or why there wasn't another one like it. Number 14. Japan happens to have its own version of Atlantis. The Onaguni Monument is disputed in terms of what it actually is, but many researchers have come to the consensus on the idea that it is a lost ancient city. If that's the case, it would have been built two or three thousand years ago before sinking into the sea. The site is now a major tourist attraction and is a popular spot for amateur divers. Number 13. In the Gulf of Cambay off the coast of India, researchers accidentally found a series of ruins. In evaluating those ruins, they found a striking similarity to the cities of the Indus River Valley civilization, one of the world's oldest known societies. Over 2,000 artifacts were recovered from the site, and they may date as far back as 7,500 BC, making it potentially the oldest city on Earth. Number 12. When a distorted sonar image of some sort of strange plate came back from a Swedish deep sea expedition in June 2011, speculation went wild. The unusual shape prompted tabloids to suggest they had found everything from a crashed UFO to an ancient underwater city. Turns out the strange plate is probably just a natural geological formation of volcanic rock shaped by ancient glacial movement, as exciting as that sounds. Number 11. In 2010, researchers discovered a group of formations off the coast of California unlike anything else. They found huge domes made of hardened crude oil from an extinct asphalt volcano. The largest dome is about 200 meters wide and about six stories high off the ocean floor. And after being there for about 35,000 years, they had become home to a vibrant, unique ecosystem. Number 10. The Greeks sure did lose a bunch of stuff underwater, first an ancient computer, and then an entire city. In 1999, the city of Herculean was discovered in the Mediterranean Sea after being missing for about 1200 years. The ruins uncovered a massive ancient temple filled with tiny sarcophagi for animal sacrifices to the god Amun Gareb. Number 9. When the Apollo 11 mission launched in 1969, its main first stage engines, a pair of Saturn VF-1 engines, were dropped into the ocean, never to be seen again. Or at least NASA didn't have any intention of seeing them again. But in 2013, Jeff Bezos launched a private expedition to find those engines and did just that. Parts of the engines were found all over the sea floor and were salvaged, reconstructed and turned back over to NASA, which technically still owns them. Good job, Jeff, you know, taking some time off from running Amazon to just find some engines real quick. Number 8. On the floor of all the world's oceans, you can find little balls of manganese. It doesn't seem like it would be all that important or interesting, except that it's a rare earth metal and incredibly valuable. In 2015, the largest cache of the stones were discovered in the Atlantic Ocean, with the largest ones about as large as a bowling ball. Number 7. Mexico's Cenote Angelita Cave has something no other body of water can claim, a river, like the river is under the water. Technically it isn't a river in the truest sense, it's actually something called Haloclean, where fresh water and salt water meet, separated by a layer of hydrogen sulfate. That layer moves between the water, making it seem like there's river under the water. Number 6. Off the coast of New Jersey sit two whole steam engine locomotives sitting 90 feet underwater since 1850. The trains were discovered in 1985, but nobody knows where they came from. There's no record of the trains being made or sold. It's assumed that the trains fell off a ship during a storm, probably while being transported to or from the northeastern United States. Nobody can say for sure. If any of you guys in the audience lost a train, let us know. We, this might be it. Number 5. Near North Bermini Island in the Bahamas is Bermini Road. Yes, that's near the island, not on the island, because Bermini Road is underwater. Divers can see a stretch of limestone blocks extending out like a path with a strangely man-made look to them. This led to speculation about the lost city of Atlantis, but further research showed that the bricks were formed during natural erosion, not any sort of man-made process. That, or aliens. Number 4. 
One of the current prevailing theories about the formation of Earth's oceans is that they originated from icy comets striking the Earth's surface, but it turns out there's a gigantic underground ocean, several times bigger than any of our surface oceans. So now it appears that the Earth's oceans are most likely seeped out from deep within the crust as a result of geological activity. Number three. Okay, so Lake Michigan isn't the ocean, it's a freshwater lake, but it's a huge lake, and it's big enough to have its own version of Stonehenge. The stone structure is about 12 meters underwater, and it is definitely man-made. The stones have carvings on them. One of those carvings appears to be of a mastodon, a creature that died out over 10,000 years ago. The exact coordinates of the site are kept secret by the Native American tribes, who would rather keep tourists away from their land. So you likely can't go see it yourself, but it's there. Take our word for it. Number two. Angel Falls in Venezuela is generally considered the world's tallest waterfall, but the world's actual largest waterfall is in the place you would likely least expect it. It's underwater at the Denmark Strait. It's about three times the size of Angel Falls. It's formed because of the meeting of two distinct bodies of water, one warm, one cold. The cold water, being denser, immediately sinks beneath the warmer water where they meet at a mind-boggling rate of 123 million cubic feet per second. Number one. In 2012, researchers from Denmark and Germany went on an expedition to not only explore the floor of the Pacific Ocean, they dug 92 feet beneath the ocean. And there they found a small cluster of microbes that were still alive. The estimate is that they would have likely have been there for about 70 to 80 million years without any access to sunlight or fresh nutrients. This discovery has spurred speculation on whether similar microscopic creatures could survive the harsh conditions of deep space. Please aliens be out there somewhere. This video was made possible by our fans over on Patreon. Thanks for your support, guys. That is it for this countdown. Have a good one!